welcome to another video in which we will talk about how to select a new topic for your research work or for your thesis. Mostly when students are about to do their thesis or their research work at the end of their degree, they do not have much idea about how to select a new topic. So in order to do that, we will discuss the process and what are the things that you need to keep in mind before you select your new topic. Now, first of all, you need to be very clear about your broader area of uh, the degree that you're doing. For example, some people are doing their degrees in management sciences, for example, MBA, BBA and other. And some people are doing in medical sciences, biosciences and chemistry, physics or other sciences. So first of all, you need to be clear about your what is your broader area in which you can perform your research. And then what you can do is you can narrow it down to some specific area. For example, in management, there can be multiple areas starting from marketing, HR, finance, maybe supply chain and all other things. So you need to have this idea of broader area and then you need to narrow it down to some specific area. The next thing that you need to do is that once you have decided that which area you want to do your research in, you need to download the latest research papers or the thesis that are uh, there in your area of research. Now, how you do that? Uh, as we talked about that you need to have a specific area in your mind, that specific area should also be further refined into different concepts. And those concepts should be used as the keywords. We'll talk about what are the keywords, but these keywords are very useful to download papers in your uh, area of research. Now, how can we first of all download the papers? There are multiple options. Most of the students and faculty or other researchers use the digital library, which their uh, university have bought because it has a lot of uh, uh, free articles for you which your university has already uh, bought so we'll talk about this one and uh, due to this COVID many universities have also shifted their digital library into the VPN system that you can use from uh, your home internet or from anywhere else uh, other than uh, your university network but even if you do not have these uh, facilities as a researcher you can always go to this Google Scholar website and you can download papers from here. Uh, in Google Scholar, you will not be able to get all the uh, papers that you want, but still you will get, get plenty and uh, you'll be able to select your area of research. Now, as we said, that using keywords, what are keywords? Now, for example, if you have chosen your broader area as uh, management sciences, and then your area of research, let's say HRM or general management. And then in that, you are interested to do some research about the leadership. So what you will do is you will look at a keyword which is leadership and you will also add it with some style of leadership. For example, democratic leadership, autocratic leadership, authentic leadership and other things. Now, if you want to do some research in the area of marketing, this is one example that you can go for a keyword like brand image, customer loyalty, customer satisfaction, uh, delighted customer. All these things can be your keywords or your HR area can be employee satisfaction, compensation, trainings and all those things. The same way, if your degree is in some other sciences, you must have some keywords in your mind before you're going to search for papers. Now, why do we use these keywords is because the database that has been saved by the uh, data centers, for example, Sage, Taylor and Francis, Emerald and other uh, Science Direct, etc. They save those documents with some keywords. So if you put the right keyword, you're going to get the right paper. So keywords are very important. So you need to have a few keywords in your mind before you start looking for some paper. Now here, one thing you need to be very careful of that you need to be very flexible with this thing. Now, sometimes we think that we will get the exact match of what we are looking for. Or sometimes we've thought a topic 
uh, and we are exactly searching for that topic. So most of the times, you do not reach to a particular topic that you've been thinking to conduct about, uh, your research about. So be flexible and uh, use different keywords. And before the selection, you might uh, accept that you might have to change uh, your topic a little bit. So don't worry about that and be flexible. You might not find what you're looking for, but definitely you're going to find something similar to what you've been looking for if you have good keywords and if your area is well selected. Now, what is the next thing that we need to do? First of all, when you have downloaded a few papers, look at their titles. If you think their titles are interesting and they are relevant to what you're looking for, read the abstract of those papers. So abstracts are going to give you some clear idea about what has been done in that research. The second thing to look for is the framework. If there's a framework, you can also look for a framework, for example, what kind of variables have they used, what kind of relationships they have used, and it must be a latest paper because your topic should be latest in order for it to be accepted as a proposal. Uh, there are a few things that we need to remember here. First of all, when you read the abstract and look at the framework, also look at the limitation of that previous research and the future research suggestions by the previous literature. You're going to find it within the same paper. We'll go to the paper, we'll download a few papers and then we'll see how this works. The, some questions that you need to answer. Is the topic relevant to what you're looking for? If it is relevant, you can read it further and further investigate what has been happening in this research. Then what you can do is you can read the methodology. This is important part because the problem is sometimes the topic is very, very good. But the issue is with methodology. Sometimes you do not have enough time to uh, go with the same methodology. Sometimes you, in your context, you do not have the kind of responses uh, that are uh, used for data collection in that kind of research. So you need to look at the methodology and see if you can collect the data and use the similar methodology. If this is possible, then it is fine. If it is not possible, then you need to look, look for another paper or you can see that if there's some flexibility in the methodology that you can use. After doing this, select a few topics, for example, select a few papers and then talk to your supervisor. So this is how we summarize our process and then we'll move on to the internet and we'll see how to download and how to read those papers. So what you need to do is, you need to select the area, broader area, narrow it down to some keywords, download the papers from digital library, VPN or Google Scholar, read the abstract, read the methodology, look at the framework, decide a few topics and then go and talk to your supervisor or your teacher or somebody senior who can guide you further. So let's go to the internet and see how can we use the digital library and Google Classroom and how can we download the latest papers and what do we have to read from those papers. So here we are at some web pages. Uh, for detailed uh, process of using your digital library, you can contact your library members because each university has uh, a different criteria of using their digital library. But your digital library somehow uh, looks like uh, this page. For example, this is Sage Journals and there is this bar where you can search for some topic. For example, let's put leadership here and just enter and see that you're going to get so many results and you can then click on one of these papers that you see that uh, it might be relevant to you. And if you're using your e-library, you're going to get some kind of uh, signal here to download the PDF. For that, you can ask your uh, library people. Then you might have this Emerald Publishing House if your university has bought it. You can also search from here, Taylor and Francis, and there are many other databases that you can use. And these are just for example. But if you're still uh, facing some problems and you do not have the digital library access at your home or your university does not have one, what you can do is you can go to this website which is known as Google Scholar 
and just click Google Scholar and it's going to take you to this website. Now here, you can type any uh, keyword and it's going to give you some uh, papers. For example, these are some of the databases that they've mentioned. And let's suppose we want to download paper related to women leadership. Now here you'll get a few papers. For example, this paper is available in PDF. This paper is available in PDF. Uh, this is also available, but there are few papers which are not available to you. So this is a problem uh, with Google Scholar, but still, if you have good keywords, it's going to give you a lot of papers from which you can select. Now, one thing to note here is that when you are finding your papers, you can always give it some time range or custom your range. So let's say if we are in 2021, we can select that we want papers from 2020. So if you look at this area, I have selected since 2020. So now it is only going to give me papers which are 2020 or 2021 published. Let's look at this paper. This is a 2020 paper. If you look at this paper, this is also 2020. But you're not going to get any uh, old paper. All papers are going to be very latest ones. So let's suppose this is a paper that you want to read because this is free. You can always read this paper and download it. Now let's suppose we have downloaded a few papers and we want to see if we can select a topic from one of these papers. So what we can do is first we need to read this uh, title of the study. How Women's Transformation Leadership Induces Employee Innovative Behavior Through Trust and Connectivity, a Sequential Mediation Model. So this gives us a little bit of information about what might be possible uh, in this research. But the good idea is that you need to read the abstract. Now, abstract is going to give you four things. Uh, first, it's going to give you the aim of the research. Then it's going to give you the methodology and then the findings and then its contribution. So the main things that you need to look is the main aim of the study and the methodology. Main aim of the study is matching with your area of research or not and methodology is suitable to what you can do and what you cannot do. For example, uh, this says that a number of women are leading a variety of organizations in Pakistan. The available research on the effectiveness of women's leadership is not so clear and there have been mixed findings across different contexts. The present research attempts to view women transformation leadership as a source of employees' trust and connectivity that leads to innovative behavior of employees in women-led organizations of Pakistan. So, you have some idea about what is going to happen in this research. What about the methodology? So you can see here that using a survey based questionnaire, cross sectional data were collected from 366 employees of different organizations which are led by women. So it's a survey based questionnaire uh, methodology. It's a cross sectional study. Data has been collected at one point time only. Uh, 366 respondents were there. So data was collected from different organizations. So let's see if you can do it or you cannot do it. This is going to give you some fair idea about if the study is replicatable, is it doable, it is not doable. Then the next thing that you need to see is you can also look at these keywords. So these are the keywords through which these papers are stored in the databases. So when you find, for example, we uh, look for women leadership, so it gave us this paper. Trust, connectivity, creativity, innovative behavior. So these are the things uh, that you can look for when you're looking for a paper like this. The next thing that you can do is you can also scroll down and look for this kind of thing which is known as the framework. The framework is going to give you a clear idea about the hypothesis and the kind of relationships and the kind of variables that have been used in this research. So you can uh, clearly see that this study looks at the impact of women leadership on innovative behavior of the employees uh, with mediating role of trust in leader and connectivity with the leader and also look at some different relationships directly or indirectly. Then what you can do is you can also uh, use this control F method 
and you can look for the future direction of the study. So look for this heading of uh, future study, for example, this one. Here you can find a way forward that you can use as your research, which has been suggested by the previous researchers. So what we are doing is we are going to read the limitations and the future suggestions from here. The present study is, however, limited in its scope in a number of ways. First of all, the study is explanatory in nature and has used a quantitative approach for hypothesis testing, which means the data has been collected in numbers. Future researchers can further explore the area of women transformation leadership in more depth using a qualitative approach. So this is one of the suggestions. This will help to clarify the effectiveness of women's leadership and uh, particularly the underlying mechanism of how women leadership works. Furthermore, the results of the study are based on the cross-sectional data. It's a cross-sectional study. Hence, a longitudinal design can also be used. This is another suggestion. So, women leadership have different styles, but in this, we have only used the transformational style. So, future research may investigate other styles of leadership for further investigation of the phenomena. So, when you look at these future research directions, you are going to get some ideas about what you can do, how you can contribute uh, in the same research by changing uh, the variables, by looking at it from different uh, research design. So, these three things are important when you are looking for a paper. And then, once you like this paper and you think that it's similar or familiar to what you're trying to do, then you can read the whole paper and then you can decide what to do and what not to do. So this is how you can uh, select your topic, what, what you can do, how you can uh, contribute in the future research and do your homework before you go to your supervisor or your teacher or your senior because this way you're helping them uh, help you. Otherwise, if you're going with uh, blind-minded, uh, they might not be able to help you very much. Thank you very much.